well it's early evening looking at the leaves change colors kind of pretty winds picking up just a little bit sounds like the ocean very relaxing I don't know if you can see the clouds. It rained. The weather report said zero chance for rain. It wasn't supposed to rain till Tuesday. It's Saturday right now. A Saturday. Not the Saturday, just you know a Saturday. But it rained. I'm glad I put the rain cover on just for the heck of it. Because it just dumped last night out of nowhere. That's the morning. But when you're out camping, time's a little slower. So it gives me a chance to contemplate and plan out my day. All right. Welcome to Everything Cholesterol on the DJ Jekyll 65 Outdoor Cooking channel yeah that's it <clears throat> so I had a little issue with my Coleman like I said I got a Coleman tent some other Coleman stuff but man every once in a while so my double burner wasn't working apparently it was this thing not this one my other one I have three burners so I just use the actuator from that solve that problem what we're doing is breakfast believe it or not oh man I just put some seasoned salt and pepper on it, nothing too fancy, but the meat is really good. We'll be adding some hash browns, some eggs, something else what I might have, I don't know. So, stay tuned, because it's going to taste good. So what I decided to do, because the meat was cooking a little faster than I anticipated. Usually you cook meat last, in case anybody wanted to make that comment. So, I added the hash brown what I should have done in the first place. Um, also, since the hash browns are from the frozen section, uh, you do like the standard dry you know, potatoes or dry shredded potatoes, it takes like longer to cook. And I don't like the way it tastes, but when I used to work at uh, IHOP, they had like a little water to it, so that's what I did. I softened it up, makes it pretty good. Over here, we're boiling some water. That aside, we're gonna add some country gravy to this to go with the eggs. You gotta have country gravy and eggs. Yeah, it's getting ready to boil. Mm -mm. Stay tuned. Okay, quick tip. See this? Oops, I no, don't. This is the thickness. I like it. The instructions calls for one and a half cups of hot water, boiling hot, and half cup of cold water. I don't do that. I do one cup of hot boiling water half cup of cold if you want you can add milk to it I didn't but to thicken it up the way I like it old family recipe a lot of grandmas know this recipe just a little bit of cornstarch and since I'm out in the camping that's how I'm cleaning my pan put a little water in it let it heat up and then I wipe it down all right phase three and of course you got to fry some eggs I add a little water in them slightly poach them Make sure everything's cooked right, you know? Yeah. Everybody's got their preference. Mm-mm. Almost there. Voila. The hardest part about this was getting the eggs on the plate perfect like that. And as you see, I have food for later. And I do tortillas because, well, toasting toast is... Toasting bread out here is difficult, I used to say. Plus, it's been raining. Can't really do a fire. And, of course, I'm going to have my milk. And like a Dumas, I forgot my coffee pot, so I gotta make cowboy coffee later. Alright, time to eat. They weren't joking about condensation. So it got a lot colder than I expected it. Everything's wet. I don't know if you guys can see. 
guys can see we turn that off. See that is wet. Which means the whole pillow is soaking wet. Or you can maybe see that. See that water and that's all water. This is all wet. You guys can see it, but it is wet. I woke up, my head's all wet. My pillows are all wet. This is some horrible condensation. It's 32 degrees outside. You can see more there. See that discoloration? That's water. Even the carpet. I use a carpet. I have a tarp and I have a carpet. And because of the water, you know, goes with gravity, it goes down. Plus, my floor is all wet and it didn't rain or anything. It's all from condensation. I even have the thing open. Forgot to close it. It's supposed to help. There's even a, a vent up here. This is all open. Oh, wow, that is super soaked. And on top of that, I have a rain tarp. What's the purpose of having a rain tarp if you're still going to get wet on the inside? Yeah, I know, that's what she said. But still. Wow. I think this Coleman tent's going back. Just notice this. See those uh, lines? That's just water dripping. It's not snowing. It's not raining. It's just all condensation. But gravity still works. Even in the mountains. Now the bottom of the floor there. Yeah, I have a cat with me. The bottom of the floor is just going underneath the carpet was just soaking everything luckily I'm on a mattress so I'll be I think okay but this is just ridiculous this is really bad my Montana did not do this whatsoever I see why they had a net all above this is bad definitely taking it back now My Coleman tent. It's supposed to be seven foot tall. It's like maybe five if. Measurements are off. Well, this is my morning. Got some rain, lots of thunder, and of course now some hail. I want you guys to see this. This is snow now.
So before I get too far into it, this is the Coleman four person tent bullshit. This is eight feet by seven. It's more like seven feet by six or six and a half by five and a half. Um, the reason why I know is because I'm six one. So if I extend my arms out like a, like a the letter T, um, yeah. my hand comes out about to here over here, and my hand comes out about there. They'll probably say from down there, but the problem is down there it's stretching, and on this side I got water coming in. And I sleep on the other side. So I don't know why I got water coming in. But it rained, it snowed, it hailed. The condensation alone, I had nothing but uh, water coming in. My mattress is all wet, a couple, two inches. Um, I was able to, you know, make myself smaller. But my pillows are freaking soaked. Even though, uh, and then... It dropped down like 30 degrees, 31, 32 degrees around there. Um, for, but for, look at this mud. Imagine having four people lay in sleeping bags without having a, a mattress or a cot. That's how you're going to fit it because the cot will take up too much room. Sorry for the camera. That was the other thing too I was afraid of. Because of the cold, ah, the zipper doesn't want to open and close. But see, and I did everything I could not to track mud in, but with water coming in, look how soaked this is. Look, you know, and it being cold, that's a good way to get pneumonia. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Plus, as I mentioned, I have a cat with me. Uh, my best friend passed away, and I got his cat. Love the cat. Bring him in, in with me anyways. But I've got a cat box. Well, cat's going to go in there. Great. But with the water coming in, now I know I only got mud, but I got cat litter mud. And I don't really want that in my sleeping bag. Lucky for me, this particular cat cleans himself before he jumps on the bed. Side note, I know, but this is, uh, what's the point of paying an extra 14, 14 to $16 for this? Where, see... I don't know, can you see the water? There's like water. Like I said, I got pretty freaking soaked. So, yeah, like I said, this is going back. and I'm not going to get this one. I wondered why people said in the messages, or in the comments, about the condensation. Because I never had that problem. And even with this window open, uh, the door open, and this window... Um, Still too much condensation. I couldn't do this window open because the wind was coming from this direction and I'd have froze. So, and then when the snow hit, I'm like, I'm, I'm buckling up. I shouldn't have to. That defeats the purpose. You're going to get wet. If you don't get condensation, you're going to get soaking wet because it getting pounded on that side. It's going to get in eventually. So, yeah. And then... The other thing I don't like is water collects here. Can I do that right? Okay, let me see. Oh, there we go. Water collects here. And it just makes a big pool. So God, oh, God forbid you open this up in the morning, you don't realize it. You're going to have all this water from the rain or snow or just condensation. And it's going to dump on you. Stupid. Stupidest. I mean, I thought my Montana was a bad build, but actually was a lot better if it wasn't for the zipper not being worth the poop. All right, that's enough ranting. You guys get the point. Well, the snow stopped. The sun came out, so I wanted to show this is what a four-wheeled is all about. Look at the truck. Oh my God. And it gets better. For those of you out there going, oh my God, how could you do that to your truck? Well, one, it's a truck. 
That's what it's made for. I wanted to see what it could do. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to show that. All right. Later. It is pretty though.